All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Windbreaker episode 10. In the last episode, we had the conclusion of um, Umamiya versus Shoji. Uh, it was a very good fight. Umamiya didn't, he put hands on him, but he didn't do it like, he did it in like a philosophical way. You know, that's, that's how he does things, apparently. Um, so he ended up beating his ass, but he taught him a lesson while doing it. And it snapped Shoji out of his kind of false idea of what freedom is to him um he kind of returned to his senses no no more psychotic chomping on people hopefully um and yeah he got the the, gl the glint back in his eyes and now him and togame are kind of friends again properly they still got the uh, the gang so we'll see what's gonna happen with their gang now maybe they'll kind of turn over a new leaf here and they'll be they'll be different from here on out um, but yeah, very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to this one now to see what's going to happen with the last couple episodes of the season, I believe. I think it's, yeah, 13 episodes. So we've got four episodes left, um, including this one. So looking forward to it. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. I was thinking, um, clearly I don't know what's going to happen in the story, but I, the way the, these, these groups are set out, it's like, these were these are kind of supposed to be like the final boss kind of thing, but like then who's who's next? Who's the next big bad in the story? Yeah, the bandage on his neck. Look at the way Choji's sitting. Like it was just them them two from Shishi Toren and the rest from both of them. Remember, he is too chill. I'm just on a diet right now, yeah. Because it's no, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just a friendly fight. Well, he turned it into a friendly fight. Bro's kind of still in shock. Damn. He's such a great character. He's so respectful. And you're still apologizing on behalf of Choji as well. Oh, that's good, Choji. Sakura, Sakura decide? Huh? Go and help the neighborhood. Ask him for another fight. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. What a, what a great punishment. <laughs> Go help the community. That'd make you a cool guy. What well, that fried burdock? What the hell's burdock? Because he's sharing the top with his comrades? Or he's finding other joys in life? I don't know. This man's this man is deep. <laughs> Choji's face looks like Pikachu right there. <laughs> Luffy mental mentality for real. Wow. <laughs> this motherfucker spin. Yeah, he needs those people in his life to be able to have fun like that. Saka is still trying to figure out Umimiya. That's a good question. Why did you aim for the top anyway? So we could share this with other people, I guess? You gotta share these fun ideals with everybody else. And to do that, you gotta be at the top. So he did he, I mean, getting to the top was just a way of getting shit done. Damn. That one hit Sakura. His original goal was to get to the top. He never would have been able to get there. Without realizing this. This dude's just gonna keep spitting wisdom and eating all the food. <laughs> Damn, so this is who this man is. This is what I have to do. I wanna see a rematch between them now. When he when he hits starts to fight for for something. And those fists get a little bit more weight. Red bean bread? Wow. He's such a good guy. <laughs> God damn it, I made more friends today. 
Like, who is actually going to be the problem in this story? Who is going to make Umamiya, like, flip? Or go serious? I'm interested to see. Bro couldn't figure out how to open that package, or... Just a metaphor for him needing to be there. To help him. Nice. I'd say they could both be leaders of uh, Shishitonen. That'd make more sense. Umai! Oh, must be raining. <laughs> yeah. God, it's pouring down. Wow. Damn, the metaphors in the show. Hey, it all went well. We're friends now. Don't worry. Damn, bro, we've been gone for like five episodes. <laughs> yeah, didn't give him a hug. Yeah, to be honest, they didn't. They really did not take much of a beating. Sakura probably got the worst, but he ate that shit, so. <laughs> Get him some special coffee. Damn, he just launched me into this chair, bro. A dialogue anniversary, what the hell? What is a salad anniversary? It's a primitive means, yeah, that's true. Yeah, did you just spit hot coffee on him? <laughs> oh my god, a poison mist. Was that hot coffee? I assume it was hot. He grew a liking to him. <laughs> oh, Sakura. You're being forced to make friends here. <laughs> the amount of faces this man makes Sakura pull. Yeah, of course he is. Oh. Oh, he's made a difference already. Like, that, I don't think that fight would have turned, that whole experience would have turned out the same if Sakura didn't fight Togumo. There's no point, there's just, that's life. You, no need to hold grudges and shit. Yeah, right, say your piece, come on. That was only yesterday? Oh my god. <laughs> Having hands? I don't know. That makes sense. That I definitely kind of showed in the in their fight. The amount of realizations this this man Sakura has had today. He's learning a lot. Damn, that'd be a cool sight. <laughs> He's pissed. I mean, meanwhile, Umami is a third year in high school, I think. So, top spot will be open up next year. Oh, he's pissed. He's going to hit him. <laughs> After you just had fights. Right, so that was Windbreaker episode 10. A uh, good episode there. I really appreciate kind of getting to know Umami more and getting to understand why he's taking the top spot, what he hopes to accomplish. Kind of teaching people other stuff as well. Obviously, he's completely changed Choji's and Togame's kind of mindset here. I think both of them he did have a kind of an effect on. I think Sakura had more of an effect on Togame. Um, so they both equally kind of work to kind of change Shishitoren and change their kind of attitudes, which is nice. Um, Sakura obviously is learning a lot here. He's equally confused, but... Yeah, he's learning what it takes to be at the top. And to take the top, you need other, other people. You need the support. You need to enjoy life. But yeah, overall, good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.